How much oil is too much oil? Hi, I'm Lake, the Motor Oil Geek, and to get that answer, we're going to reload one of the episodes from the Engine Performance Expo. So proper lubrication can be defined as the four R's. Right, right oil, oil, right place, right time, and right, right amount. amount. Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder what the right amount would be. So obviously if we have too little, that's, that's a bad thing. pretty bad. But does it hurt me to have too much? Pretty sure it does. Well, one way we could find out is we could put oil in the thing and run it on the dyno, mm -hmm. and then we could put more, more oil in it and run it again. Like, I think we ought to probably try that. Let's do that. Let's so what, what do we got for a baseline? What, what oil do we have in the engine? What are we planning on doing? How much do we have? You know, is it the right oil in the right place, the right time, the right amount? Well, it's the right oil because it's the 15W40 driven GP1. We've run this engine before. We've already done oil analysis and a complete engine teardown, so we know. We know it's the right oil. It works, it definitely right? Works. Yep. And so we've got five quarts in there right now. Okay. So, so we're going to start off. The oil pan can hold 11. Yeah, so I was going to say, to me, being a wet sum, being that it's an LS, and these engines have a little bit of trouble with drain back. Mm -hmm. So especially as we get up to higher RPM, five quarts seems a little on the low side to me. But, probably so. But as long as we have more than, you know, zero PSI oil pressure, we'll probably yeah. be all right. You know? We have enough to get the pan full if we need to. That's right, yeah. So as long so, as it's not full of parts, we're okay. Oil is good, <laughs> parts, no, right? Parts bad, I, I'm yeah. with you on that. So yeah. let's go to the dyno and find out. Okay, let's go try it. Well, that was interesting, yeah. wasn't it? So exactly what you'd expect. That's really I held not... my breath there for a second when the oil pressure was doing this. I, I was watching it, but it sort of stabilized there. You know, we're, we're in there and it dropped down to, oh, about, uh, let's see, probably 40, 35, 40 pounds, but a lot less than the 75 or 80 that it was at before, right? right? So, um, yeah, so I sort of take a nosedive and it's like, all right, I got my finger on the throttle just in case, but it, it leveled out, so it was okay. But here's the thing, because of that, it made significantly more power. I mean, like not not like, hey, we put a different cam in right, it. Yeah. But it was better than it's been on the earlier runs all, today. All day long. Here, let's yeah. look by how much here. So let me, uh, cl let me clear a couple of runs out. So literally, um, just here at 7,000 RPM, it was, it's 12 horsepower better, 12 and a half horsepower better. 12, all right. So you think about what 12 horsepower is. If I was driving around in a 12 horse horsepower go-kart, that's, yep. that's a pretty good time. Oh yeah, you know, we, I mean, we drained about seven quarts of oil out yeah. from the previous run. Now, not the exact same oil, but right. it was seven quarts of oil. So what we're gonna do now is we'll add two quarts of oil and run it again and see if we lose our 12. So we should see an increase in oil pressure as so. well as probably a decrease in power. So we're gonna give up some engine performance to get some engine safety. Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see. All right, so this is GP1 What do you think about that one? <laughs> <laughs> My heart didn't stop on that one that time. <laughs> no, it was pretty obvious what was going on. Like the oil pressure was rock solid. In fact, it was even climbing a little yeah. bit. But the whole time I was looking at the oil, my other eye was staring at the power going, well, that really cost us yeah. a bunch, right? Yeah, yeah. So we try to do the, the same tune up and keep your temperatures, you know, real close to the same and all that. But man, there's no way to deny that. You put a bunch more oil in it. It's certainly better for the life of the engine. Oh yeah, what's that? 61 pounds of oil yeah, pressure so, versus so, almost 40, so, 30 something? Yeah, so they both start out right about 60 or 61 PSI. Yeah. 
Now the old run with only five quarts in it, at 5,100 they started to deviate. And with five quarts it dropped all the way down to a low here of about 36 and a half PSI. Right. By that same RPM, the seven quarts was actually climbing and we were up to 68 PSI. Almost double the amount of pressure. Pretty darn close. Yeah. Now here's the real kicker. So again, doesn't really do much down low. The oil pressure really starts to drop when it gets up high, that kind of thing's going on. Check out the difference in power though. Yeah. Again, didn't make a lot of difference down low because down torque. low, the, the windage isn't nearly as much, much of a problem. Right. But man, after about 64, 6,500, by the time we got up here to the top, that thing over here was making 630 this pull versus 646 40. on the last pull. 16. So 16 horsepower just to Two protect your oil. engine. Like, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. Not, it's probably not even worth it. If it's yeah. the final round, take some oil out of it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But wait, but we, there was a still a little bit of a dip right at the very end. There, there was. You can actually see it here if I yeah. bring the oil pressure back over. Right about, oh, 7,000-ish, 7, it yeah. starts to lose, which is what you'd expect, right? It starts running out of oil out right. of that dr wet sump pan. So I think we ought to put more in and just Two right. more. So let's try it. nine. Let's turn it. it up. Why? Yeah. It's going to be like Spinal Tap where it goes to 11, right? <laughs> <laughs> if we got room for 11, we could. All right, let's see what All nine right. does. Cool. All right, so fixing a oil pressure problem, yeah, there's a so, uh, price to pay? Yeah, so I got good news for you. We put enough oil in that we do not drop oil pressure at all anymore. That's so non-course of oil, no problem. Oil pressure's rock solid. Now the bad news. <laughs> <laughs> so when we put a little bit more oil in there, it hurt us a little bit, it really did. Yeah. When we put a lot more on there, holy cow, does it hurt the thing. So exponentially bad. So we start out, all three of them, at very close to the same oil pressure. Before it at 5,100 with five quarts, it really dropped a ton. So mm -hmm. we put seven quarts in it. Yep. And that held all the way to 7,000 before it started dropping again. Right. So you put two more in it. Yep. And now it stays rock solid the whole entire way, all the way to, we went 76, 7,700, no problem, right? Perfectly stable. It costs a lot of power to do that. So there let's check it out. Very, so, very high price to pay. Well, so here's the thing. Normally that's what you would do, right? You right. would keep adding oil until it wasn't losing oil pressure. That just seems like the logical thing to do. But let's Sounds see what we had to smart. pay to get that. So when I look at the power over there, it's jaw dropping. First of all, when we went from five to seven, it didn't really start to cost us until about 6,400 RPM. Right. With all the extra oil then, we started paying all the way down here at 4,800. <laughs> But by the time we get to 7,500 RPM, there is 60 horsepower lost. Six, zero. 60 horsepower. We're talking about, you know, in foot pounds, that's 455 foot pounds with only five quarts down to 412 yeah. when you put nine quarts in it. So out the parachute. Wow, holy cow, 60 horsepower from four quarts of oil extra. Now the good news is, Probably not gonna hurt the engine. No, your oil pressure's <laughs> fine, you know? Rock solid oil pressure, there's a price to pay for you're, that. You're just gonna run it there a lot longer because yeah. it's gonna take you that much longer yeah. to get all the way yeah. down the track. But now wow. your results may vary in your engine, but for this engine, with what we just did, so that's, that's real. So what's happening is that all that extra volume of oil is yeah. sitting down there in the oil pan, the crankshaft swimming through that and slapping it around. Now don't forget, this engine has those big giant Bill Miller aluminum, aluminum rods, rods too. Right. Yeah. Way more surface area than maybe a small steel rod might have. Right. There may be a higher penalty we're paying for this engine specifically, yeah. but no matter what, you're going to pay, pay a penalty. Price. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So this makes me want to put a dry sump on this engine and really see what we could gain. Uh, Seems like there ought to be idea. 60 plus horsepower from what we've just seen. Matt just says that right there, right? I mean, there's right probably- Right right place, right time, right amount. Boy, that right amount is tough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, buddy, it gets you every time. Well, I think what we need to go is go back and um, you know re recheck all of our work. Let's let's take the oil back out and do this test again and make sure. But if something changes, we'll tell you guys. But yeah. I have a feeling we know what's going to happen. Exactly. <laughs>